uh, Chartered Institute of Directors uh, in Nigeria will be holding their annual directors conference in Abuja, Federal Capital Territory. The theme for this year is Driving Nigeria's Economic Transformation and Diversification, the Role of Corporate Governance. So what role does that uh, corporate governance play in economic transformation and diversification? Joining us to answer that question, plus more, is Mr. Dele Alimi. He's the Director General and CEO of the Chartered Institute of Directors Nigeria. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much for Good joining us. Good morning. Thanks Good. for having me. So for those that don't know, what, what, what is the Chartered Institute of Directors? What, what, what do you folks do? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, the CIOD, uh, formerly IOD, until you got chartered some months ago, yeah. uh, was established in 1983, yes, 19, 40 years ago. And um, it started as a branch of the Institute of Directors of UK uh, by some very eminent Nigerians who are prominent in the private sector led by uh, Chief Egel, Ebel Gobadia. And they started this as a, they were members of LD UK, so they started the branch in Nigeria. And over time, it became an affiliate and then a full fledged organization here in Nigeria. Essentially, it's a professional membership. We call it the Apex Professional Membership Organization in Nigeria because. So the, the top one. Exactly. Because before you can be a member of the institute, you have to have been a director yeah. for no less than five years. Yeah. So members are people who already at the peak of their career, at the peak of their profession. So we call it the Apex in Nigeria. And what do we do? We help directors to deliver on their mandates. Directors run organizations. They, their decisions can make or mar organizations. So what we do as an institute is to improve their capacity. Get them well prepared for those jobs. Always monitor development in the corporate governance space and educate our members, provide training opportunity, provide workshops, seminars, and then of course, do every other thing that we think directors need to make them fit and proper mm. for the job. Fantastic. All right. Yes. So we want a more diverse economy as far as at least income is concerned. Definitely. And then we want, uh, you know, uh, 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 transformation as economic transformation. So what, what, what role does corporate governance, I guess, ethics exactly. play in that? Yeah. Ethics, integrity, uh, doing the right things at the right time, following the rules, playing to the books. That's what this is all about. That's what corporate governance is all about. And if we all agree that the driver of the economy is the private sector. Running the private sector well as a way of impacting positively on the economy. And that is where corporate governance comes in. So if you can get it right at the boards of various corporations and industries and companies, and they are able to perform their role in governizing the economy, they provide job, they are like the oil that makes the economy moves. Right. And um, if, if that happens, then it is, there is a likelihood that money will follow. Right. We, there, is a, there is a balance, we say in corporate governance, that money will follow where corporate governance is good. Gotcha. When you do the right thing, locally, internationally, people will invest more in that system. Investing more in that system means a wider economy. A wider economy, a more diversified economy means the country is progressing. Mm. So corporate governance has, is in the core of getting things rightly done in Nigeria. If we get that done and we have people who follow the books, who follow the rule, will be able to increase em employment, which is a major issue in Nigeria. Organizations will run profitably. Uh, investment will not be lost. And most of the negatives that we have in the business environment will be corrected. Mm. And once that is done, we, we become the location for business. We become the, the, the attraction. Don't forget that already we have so many things going for us. We have our population, we have our landmass. So what we need to get right mostly now is, is governance, mm. both, of course, in the private sector yeah. and even in the public sector. I was sector. going to ask you about the public sector. Yeah. But, um, how much, you know, okay, you use money goes where the corporate uh, governance goes. Um, how much of this, if we use something, we always, a phrase uh, or proverb we usually hear say a lot in Nigeria, charity begins at home. At how, how, can, how far can you trace that back to having a good corporate, ethical corporate executive? Yes, you, you see, um, we've, we've come a long way. Um, I will say the establishment of IOD itself was because some people who have been in other climbs, realize that, look, if you want directors to deliver on their mandate, there will be a need for you to let them know what to do. Let no director be in a situation where he's faced with a problem, he doesn't know what to do. So you have an organization that is able to present to directors, look, at every point, at every turn, these are the way to act. This is what you should do. So when we say charity begins at home, we have to look at our own system what are our 
major challenges. The, challenge of a, the challenges of a director in Nigeria may be quite different from that in the UK or in the US. So you need to, do, uh, to domesticate, yeah, I think that's the word, you need to domesticate our own codes, governance codes, such that a director in Nigeria, and of course our ethical codes, a director in Nigeria has something to turn to when he's in a, he's in a fix. He doesn't know what action to take. Like, for example, IOD Nigeria has a uh, code of ethics for all our members, and which we have recommended for even directors that are not our members. When you are faced with anything, the usual issue of... Um, uh, uh, what, how, do I, how do I explain that now? The issue of uh, uh, when you are... When you are I want to get the right word. When, <laughs> yeah, I think I see where you're yeah. going. You when, want, when, you to when you are constrained by yeah. a situation you find yourself, you yeah. want to have a place to go, to right. look. Right. When we have an um, issue of conflict of interest, yeah. uh, that was the word I was looking okay. for. Conflict of interest. We have a quote that uh, states exactly what you should do. Because whether you like it or not, it will happen. Mm. In fact, these days, it is the normal thing that at the beginning of every board meeting, because you have received the board papers, you are expected... The chairman calls everyone to declare their interest. Right. Put your interest on the table mm. so that on any case that there, is, there may be a conflict, you recuse yourself from discussion of that particular thing. So people don't get emotional or anything. So we, we, when you say now charity beginning at home, like I said, we look at our own system. And that was why when the Nigerian Code of Corporate Governance was going to come out, we didn't mimic any other code from anywhere. Right. You came up with your own. With our own. And the Financial Reporting Council did very well with that. We come up with a code that other countries in Africa are now studying. Right. And they are looking at, okay, uh, uh, apply and explain, which means we have a code, you apply it. If there's any reason where you think this may not work, you explain to the Financial Reporting Council why. That is so. You get my point. Now, yeah. So that way, and that is, that is what is good for a growing economy like ours. Mm. You cannot be as stiff or as uh, tough as other clients who have been practicing corporate governance for, for, for two decades, three yeah, decades. Right. Even there, yeah. they are still in fractions. Exactly. Um, I have to ask you about gender diversity at the corporate level and mm. how that impacts directors in terms of, I guess, that, that mix. And also, yeah. you know, even if, for, for an economy that you want to be di you know, diversified and so on and so forth, yeah. what, what's your take? Are, you, are your members diverse? Yeah, they are. They yeah. are. Well, I must confess, yes, we have more male members than female. Than female. Because <laughs> when you talk about diversification now, when you talk about uh, having everybody in, apart from gender, you also look at age. You have to look at geographical location and things like that, mm. so that it's all encompassing. But now we are talking about gender. Yeah. Yes, we have, we have a good mix of membership along that line. We, of course, we are non-discriminatory. And we have a special committee. We call it the Women Directors Development Committee. Okay. That takes care of the interests of, the peculiar interests of female directors because they face sometimes a different kind of challenge right, right. than their male, male counterpart. Right. On the boardroom in Nigeria today, I think there is a great improvement, mm. especially, I particularly say, the banking sector. You have seen what has happened in the banks. We have quite a lot of female directors who have performed wonderfully as chairman of key banks in this country who have performed good as MDs of, 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 in Nigeria. But there's still so much to do. And that is part of what IOD Nigeria is preaching. And in preaching it, we are not just preaching, we are, just, we are also preparing those female directors to take on those roles. People are not going to give you the role just because you are a woman. Gotcha. They are going to give you the role because you are competent. Because you are qualified. So let yeah. us have more competent women yeah. who are prepared to take over those roles. Fantastic. Just a minute to go. The conference is, I think it's next week in Abuja. Yes, what yes. what is the takeaway? What do you want from those that have attended it to take away from the conference? What they will take away is what will be their own role in this effort to diversify the economy, in this effort to rejuvenate our economy. We all have a way of looking at government. Yes, government will play its part, but as private players, what would be our role in making this <clears throat> change happen? What as an organization should we do? How do we ensure that the tone from the top for board members, the tone for the top is right and everybody down the line can feel that tone and apply it in their various vocation as they become part of the organization. So that is what uh, the conference is all about. It's about preparing our members, preparing directors, both in the public and private sector, on their role as as governors of that change we are all looking for, mm. not, just, not just the government.
It's a, it's a great topic. It's an ongoing topic, ever evolving, and uh, we're glad that you came to shed some light on it. Uh, Thank you us. very much for Mr. giving me the opportunity. It's fantastic. Mr. Dele Alimi, Director General, CEO, Chartered Institute of Directors of Nigeria. Thanks so much, sir, for joining us. Thank you us. very much.